he's using a moving vehicle oftentimes it may be parked sometimes as a moving platform and randomly shooting at different people and cars uh, one individual was actually taking his trash out when he was shot at but most of the other ones the continuity has been they were in a traveling vehicle themselves from about 7 p.m. on the 16th to about 6.40 p.m. on the 18th we had a series of incidents that occurred in a multi-county area uh, the original kind of epicenter, if you will, was Wixom, and so we started working immediately with Chief Goodline and Wixom Police Department. Um, and as it developed, it was clear that it was happening in more places and quite a few incidents uh, across the geographic area. So now we're actually up to 22 cases that have had some kind of connection or involvement with this particular, um, we believe, perpetrator. She's in seventh grade there, and she has uh, runs cross-country after school, and that's less than maybe a quarter mile from where the school is. So the kids have to run outside, and a stray bullet, you know, I, I think about it a lot. Yeah, they have... Uh, recess going to be indoors and, and uh, they're in lockdown. We've had our helicopter up kind of in the area where they had the most activity just to keep uh, vigilant. But you know, my, my suggestion to people is what we suggest all the time just be observant, be aware of your surroundings. If you see something, say something. If it's suspicious, report it. We'd rather check out 10 false things and miss one real. Uh, don't change your pattern, just be more aware. In fact, you know, I intend to go out to that. I 96 696 corridor myself tonight to find a restaurant and have something to eat this is not going to slow us down we're going to find this person and uh, we can certainly appreciate the help of the public